Hey Badminton community, it's Jeff and Henry here bringing you a review on Li Ning's Aeronaut 9000C Combat. Now this one's for all of you who have been asking for this specific racket and for those who have asked for so many more Li Ning reviews from us. In all of our racket reviews we assess rackets on 5 main metrics with a score out of 10. And these are feeling and handling, control, power, speed and aesthetics. As I said before, the C in the 9000 C stands for combat. Model! Yeah, I've already done that for the 7C, man. Okay, relax. Yeah, that video is up in this corner, by the way. Check it out. Now, this is part of the Aeronaut series, which is designed to, to have the best control frame with no sacrifice of power or speed. It's also built on the Aeronaut technology platform that has a unique Airstream channel integrated into the racket. It's basically these little air slits that air can travel through in the in the frame here. And it is a head heavy racket and it's marketed for strong and aggressive players with no loss of control. The racket we tested weighs in at 88 grams and was strong with Yonex Nanogy 98 at 28 pounds. After having a really good hit with it, this is what we thought. Because of the colorful patterns, Henry and I actually thought it was gonna be lighter than it actually was. It was deceptively heavy. And it felt stiff, but overall had a solid feeling, one that you would expect from a high-end racket. So unless you're Yuta Watanabe, which I wish I was, nice. he used this racket in 2020. He's currently using the 9000i. But this racket, you're probably going to feel it's a little bit unforgiving. But when you can find the sweet spot, the control is good. But it is very difficult to do that. Now, although Leaning don't really provide that much information about their rackets, we were expecting this one to be really powerful because it's... It's called C, combat. And it wasn't difficult to generate power though because it is a head heavy racket. However, compared to other heavier rackets, the firepower was pretty standard and nothing amazing. Yeah, I expected a little bit more for power for this one actually. Yeah. It, it's not particularly fast being a heavier racket and it probably would have been even slower without these fancy little air slits in the frame here for mm. increased, yeah, re reduced air resistance. Mm. It did feel a bit sluggish and slow, which was worsened by the fact that it was difficult to find the sweet spots and the shot quality wasn't that good when you actually got to it as well. And that made it a bit, a bit hard because if your shot quality is not good and you're defending, then you're always defending, you can't get out of it. And lastly, in terms of how it looks, look, we actually like the look of it. it it's, it's pretty cool. Um, it's probably not what we would choose, but if you're someone who likes these colours and potentially someone who likes Marvel superheroes like Captain America, then I think this one, this one is something that you might like. Yeah. yeah, it definitely has a pretty good finish quality and the matte finishes is nice, in our opinion. So, for our ratings. For feeling and handling, we gave this a 7 out of 10. For control, we gave it a 6 out of 10. We gave it an 8 out of 10 for power, but not that good compared to other head heavy rackets, we'd say. Mm, a 6.5 out of 10 for speed and a solid 7.5 out of 10 for how it looks. Which gives us a total of 35 out of 50. Now you're probably asking, who is this racket for? This one's for aggressive players with probably more muscles and more power than most. It would benefit those of you who are rear court doubles players and advanced singles players as well. And now because of the difficulty in finding the sweet spot for this one, you really need to be someone who plays regularly at a fairly high level to ensure you can get the most out of this one, just like what's done before. What's well, Nubby always hits it in the middle, I swear. Now this racket's probably not for those who prefer a lighter racket because you're gonna feel like, like you're carrying around extra weight and it's not so fast in those really flat, speedy exchanges. Also, those who are reasonably new to the sport or if you're still working on your technique, you might not like this racket so much because it is quite stiff and it's not a very forgiving racket. So if you have a preference for heavier rackets, love to hit hard and want every, everyone to marvel at your racket because of how colourful it is, then this is one you should consider. Good pun. I like that. Marvel. I didn't even know you put that in. Yeah, I put that in, you didn't know. <laughs> but at a whopping $270 Australian mark, would we try, buy or deny? We think try. But we do emphasize that this one is a tricky one to master. So we'd say unless you are an advanced player that plays regularly and times the shuttle well, look elsewhere. And if you're after rackets for aggressive play, then we do think that, that there are better options out there that you can consider. If heavy rackets aren't really your thing and you want the polar opposite of a bright colorful racket, then do not forget to check out the Volant Rogue S1. 
even balanced, sleek, matte black racket that's forgiving and will work with the way that you like to play. You can check it out here. Or you can check it out below in the description as well. So there you have it, the Leaning Aeronaut 9000C. Thank you for tuning into this video. Now, if you've enjoyed it or found it useful, be sure to annihilate that like button for the YouTube algorithm and share our channel with your fellow badminton superheroes. And to see the latest racket reviews that we release, hit that subscribe button so that you're notified of all of the new videos when they come out and you'll have the latest badminton knowledge. See you see on the ya. next one. Bye. 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 Now I'm doctor. Ha, 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 ha.